Hello YouTube land people. So as you may or may not know, I have been in search of a fixer upper property in South Texas for about two weeks now I've been looking and it just feels like forever. Like I am getting so anxious and so worried at this point because it's not as easy as I thought it would be because I do have cash. Unfortunately, there are a lot of owner financing only deals and you don't know that because they, a lot of them don't even say owner financing only and, and some don't say it at all. And you come across these fixer uppers and they don't wanna sell them for cash. They want you to finance with them because they own the property and they want you to do all the repairs. And then surprise, if something happens and you don't pay, your so-called mortgage which is really just a, a rent rent a lease really because they still own the property they take it back plus they get all your money they get all your down payment so they're just like probably worse than a bank because they don't give you like low interest they give you high interest rates so they make a ton of money you know and I, i'm not going to do that so i'm missing out on properties that i would like to buy but i can't buy because again my cash ain't good enough they don't want to sell they just want to get high interest and still own the property and still have you do all the repairs because these properties are crap like they're fixer uppers they're like we're talking like bad roofs we're talking like bad paint bad floor bad you know outdated or just junky like Places where it's barely, like some places are just like barely habitable, I'm talking like that. And they don't want to, they don't want to sell them for cash. So yeah, if I would have known this, maybe I wouldn't have had my expectations so high. Like, oh, it's going to be easy. No, it's not easy at all. Like I thought I would find a place within a first week or two and I'm not finding anything. And to make it even worse than that, even other properties that aren't owner financing, there's always something seriously, seriously wrong, like bad foundation. That's something else I didn't know about South Texas. I didn't know there were so many properties here with bad foundations. And they don't, again, they don't tell you that on the, when you look on Zillow or Redfin or, you know, Movoto or all these other sites, you only know when you actually have an agent helping you and then you call your agent and you say, are there any remarks on this property? Can you check this out? Let me know what's going on with it. And then they, they talk to you and they tell you and they read the notes and these notes are only available to them, of course. And that's when they start telling you, oh yeah, the bad foundation, you know, or something, just there's always something. This one house I looked at, I thought it would be the perfect flip. It was a fix, total fixer upper, barely livable, and I don't want to buy anything that's not livable, but you know, because I have to live there. And um, the problem with that one is the neighborhood was super rough. Like you wouldn't even know. Like I went to Google map and I went and I looked in the area. Of course, I know the maps are like a year, two years old. And I looked around and everything looked good. You know, it wasn't too bad. But then I get there and it's all changed in the past couple of years. Like there's rent, ran, down homes really like ran down and wild dogs running around i didn't feel safe at all it felt really dirty like i would feel i felt like if i bought that house that i'd be throwing my money away because like who who in their right mind would put good money into a place and fix it all up nice when the other houses next door and across the street are just run, ran down completely you know what i mean like that's not a good area that would not have been a good area and it was like not a good area anyway because it was kind of far from the store but then all the houses so far I found that were good areas that were close to the stores close to walk, walking distance with the stores so far have all been owner financing so I don't know there's one property I might look at next week Monday Tuesday I'm not sure when because it's a for sale by owner and that's another problem is I went to go look at this house the other day. I drove really far. It was like in a downtown kind of area and it was a for sale by owner and they had to be there. They don't, they didn't want a lock box and this is a big red flag. That plus it's been on the market forever. That should have been another big red flag. And apparently they're just like wasting my time because they never showed up. They never answered the door. 
I stood there with my agent, my realtor, and they never answered the door. They never answered their phone. They ne were never there. Nobody was there. And the house was anyway, I probably wouldn't even be interested anyway because the house was a total junk mess. Like we're talking like wood rot, termites, uh, asbestos siding, holes in the asbestos siding, um, shot metal roof, completely shot, no way you could fix or repair or paint, no way. And I probably didn't even want it anyway, but I just think it was completely beyond rude even to do that to someone. Like why even bother putting your house up if you're not serious about selling it? But there's a lot of places like that here a lot and you just got to be so careful that you're not just running around looking and wasting your time wasting your energy wasting gas wear and tear on my car you know f going in traffic oh and that's the other thing that to make it even worse they wanted me to go look at it during like friday night rush hour traffic and i said no to the realtor i said i'm not going at night time on a friday night to look at a house and i'm so glad i didn't because that would have been even worse i would have been sitting in traffic for hours only to get there and probably they would not have shown up they probably would not have answered the door because if they were serious they would have answered the door when they said to come back on a saturday daytime and they never did so that's just my round for now i'm having an extremely difficult time i'm starting to get very depressed I am getting back. I didn't get to sleep hardly at all last night. I'm, I've been so upset and depressed about all this. Like you can't imagine what a hard time I'm having. Like it feels like I got myself into something now and there's no turning back. And I'm just at the mercy right now of the markets pretty much. I don't know. I, I, I can't stay in this hotel much longer. I don't know. I'll keep you updated. I have a fans only if you care about donating and seeing more better, sexier videos of me if you're into that thing. So yeah, I'll talk to you later.